Gilbert's Journey to the Upper Sea A Story by Angelica Livianita Setianto Gilbert, an anglerfish of the undersea, smiles and flaps his fins eagerly as he goes to the upper part of the sea. He is so lonely after his parents died, and all he has is the lamp hanging from his head to help him see in the dark. Yesterday, a small shark named Barry told him that many fish live in the upper sea and that Gilbert won't be lonely there. Gilbert then decided to visit Sharpie's town, Barry's town, in the upper sea. When Gilbert finally arrives at Sharpie's town in the upper sea, he isn't welcomed. Big sharks surround him and say things that upset Gilbert. What is that weird lamp hanging over your head, little friend? You'll bring us bad luck with your ugly teeth. Get lost! Gilbert is trapped and he needs to get away. He then sees an opening among the sharks. Whoosh! He swims upward, catching the sharks. The sharks are surprised and stay in place for a moment before chasing him. Meanwhile, Gilbert swims faster than ever. When the sharks are gone, he stops and tries to figure out where he is. He is still in the upper sea, but it's much brighter. Gilbert thinks that he must be somewhere near the surface. They're so mean. I hate them. Gilbert looks back and shouts. Something moving above him catches his attention. He wonders what it is and takes a closer look. Wow! A jellyfish! Gilbert sneaks out behind the jellyfish. The jellyfish jumps in surprise and turns around. Hey! Gilbert flashes a smile. <gasps> the jellyfish screams. Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. Gilbert swims closer. <coughs> the jellyfish screams even louder. Gilbert starts to panic and circles her. He tries to calm her, but the jellyfish stretches out her tentacles and stings Gilbert. Ow! He yells and swims away from the jellyfish, afraid to be stung again. After a few minutes of swimming away from the main jellyfish, he stops at the spot where the sea is a lot brighter and hotter. I guess the jellyfish was afraid of me because I'm ugly and look like a monster. Gilbert sobs and raises his fins to cover his eyes as tears fall down his face. Oh, I don't think I will find any friends here. He cries for a long time until he feels a fin patting him on the back. Are you okay? A female voice says. Gilbert slowly uncovers his eyes. Then, he faces the small redfish who is patting his back. The redfish widens her eyes in surprise, and so do the other small fish surrounding him. It's a scary looking fish! Run for your lives! The redfish shouts to the others. No! Stop! Gilbert chases after them. They swim toward the surface of the sea. Then, something stops Gilbert from chasing the fish. The sea goes dark suddenly and makes Gilbert confused. He looks up 
and sees that there is a long shadow above them. And the fish are swimming too close to the shadow, still screaming. Gilbert realizes what it is from his mother's story. It is a fisherman's boat. Hey, come back here. It is dangerous there. Gilbert shouts and swims faster. Just when he says that, a net traps the fish and Gilbert as well. The fisherman pulls out his net to the surface and Gilbert suddenly can't breathe. He can't even think. So he just struggles trying to break free from the net. What is that thing? The fisherman shouts as he sees Gilbert and throws away his net. He then starts the boat's engine and drives away screaming. The small fish and Gilbert can finally breathe again. But he realizes that he and the other small fish are still there trapped between the net. He wriggles, but the net is still holding them. He opens his mouth to bite the net, but the blue fish next to him is screaming. Ah, he's going to eat me. Get away from him, you monster. The female red fish says from Gilbert's other side and pushes him. No, I'm not trying to eat you. Gilbert pushes against the other panicked fish. When he finally gets close to the net, he opens his mouth to chew on it. Snap! It works! He slowly makes holes for him and the other fish to come out of. By the time they are free from the net, it's almost dark. Oh no, it's already dark. Now we can go home. We can't see clearly. The blue fish says. Fortunately, Gilbert has a headlamp hanging on his head. If he concentrates, he can turn it on like he always does. All of the small fish can go home safely thanks to Gilbert's headlamp. We are sorry, Gilbert, for mistaking you as a bad fish earlier. Maya, the red fish, says. Yeah, you're welcome to our home anytime you feel lonely. Dory, the blue fish, says. Gilbert says goodbye to the small fish and gets back home feeling happier than when he first went to the upper sea. Ever since that day, Gilbert doesn't feel lonely anymore. Spellbound is brought to you with love by Petra Little Theater, English for Creative Industry Program, Petra Christian University.